Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of Foodie Fridays. So for this Foodie Fridays, we are making hash brown casserole. This is supposed to be a copycat recipe from Cracker Barrel. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have never eaten the hash brown casserole from Cracker Barrel, but I'm going to tell you that this is a new staple and will go into the rotation. It is so stinking good. So the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe are 30 ounces of the frozen hash browns and make sure that we are thawing those to get those to the consistency that we need. I just actually defrosted them in the microwave because I forgot to set them out on the counter. One stick of melted butter, a can of cream of chicken soup, one small onion that we're gonna chop, eight ounces of shredded extra cheddar cheese, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one cup of sour cream. That's all the ingredients that you're going to need. I will tell you that this reminded me a lot of twice baked potato casserole, which is delicious. If you were to add some crumbled bacon in here and then top with some green onions, you would be spot on with a um, baked potato casserole on your hands that you could put on the side for anything. So this doesn't have to be just breakfast, guys. So let's get into this recipe. It is so good. Guys, I'm gonna chop up my onion. Thank y'all for the tip with the dish towel. It really helped out from last week. Then we're gonna add our cream of chicken soup in the bowl here. You're gonna need the whole entire can. And then I'm also gonna add my ground pepper here. And then I'm going to give it a good whisk to have all those ingredients marry together. Then I'm also going to add my cup of sour cream and then I'm gonna give that a good whisk as well. Now we're gonna add our salt here. Give it a good whisk. And then we're gonna add our cheddar cheese. Now you're gonna take a cup of that cheddar cheese and you're gonna set that to the side because that's gonna be our topping. But the remainder of the bag you're gonna put in there and then add our chopped onions and give that a whisk. And then guys, this is first world problems. I need to learn my lesson, but this bowl is way too small for all those hash browns. So I got a big bowl out, as you can see, and then we're going to add our melted butter to the thawed hash browns, and you're gonna give that a good stir and incorporate all of those ingredients. Okay, now we're going to put it in our actual 9 by 13 pan that I've sprayed with my all-time favorite Baker's Joy. Just spread this out evenly and make sure it is all even before we add our cheese, our remainder of our one cup of shredded cheese we're going to add on top. And then we're going to stick this in an oven for 350 degrees for 45 to 55 minutes. I cooked mine exactly for 45 minutes. Here is our final product, guys. It is so bubbly, so delicious. I was just in love with this recipe. I cannot tell y'all enough how much I love this recipe. So it came out perfect. I mean, the onion note, you can definitely uh, taste, I was gonna say here, you can definitely taste that onion note in there and it is so, so good. I am loving this more than just for breakfast. I think this is a staple side dish that you can use on any uh, side dishes for any recipes guys so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy foodie fridays each week and you plan on making this recipe as well as you can see i just served it on the side with eggs bacon and some toast and it was divine and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because i'd love to have you a part of the youtube family here i post a cooking video every single week here on my channel and i'd love to have you a part of the fam Y'all let me know if you've had the Cracker Barrel Hash Brown Casserole and if you make this and it tastes spot on. Because like I said, I've never had the restaurant quality of this. I've just made this for the first time and I'm addicted. Love you guys so much. Y'all have an awesome Friday and an amazing weekend. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.